Hey, what's up guys? This is Worse. Um, basically what we're going to do, me and Trav, we're going to just sit and discuss our thoughts on the new Star Wars movie. Um, the Force Awakens. Probably the biggest movie The, the movie that made. I've been waiting for. <laughs> the movie I've been waiting for for a long time. Yeah, like I've been waiting on this since I was a kid. Like episode one, two, and three, whatever. But like I've been Those waiting. Those were good when growing up. And I've then been you realize yeah not so good and mm. a lot of people had bad taste in their mouth because of the prequels, uh and so we were really excited because JJ we you really love the Star Trek movies right the new oh, ones man. I, 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 Star Trek like, two thousand nine is probably my favorite one of my favorite movies ever so like I told him the first original two thousand nine Star Trek is better than all the three prequels could have ever hoped to be like all. And one, so I knew JJ. We got something good. I literally, I didn't hear one bad thing about JJ. Like what he was gonna do with it. I mean, obviously, you hear good things afterwards, but I didn't hear anything like negative whenever he was announced to direct the movie. Nothing. Everyone was excited. And what you get from these trailers is that this was going to revamp Star Wars the way it was supposed to be. Like, the original trilogy style, and just really the feel of Star Wars. And I can tell you guys, after seeing the movie, that is true. This movie really brings back Star Wars, for, for me personally. Yeah, I, um, you know, my uncle wanted to know uh, my first impressions the night of, and... I didn't know if I was really going to be able to say my first yeah, impressions. Yeah, like, but... after, after seeing it right away, I could not think of an opinion for the movie because I'm just so blown away. And I'm not, and I went in with low expectations, absolutely low expectations. I knew I was going to be excited. I knew I was going to have chills the whole time, and I did. I certainly did, but all for the right reasons. I, I didn't know what expectations to have, so I just went in like a blank slate. Me and him discussed, like, look. If we're going yeah, in, we're just going to go in just as a normal... And like totally it, surprised because yeah, the like, trailers gave away nothing. It gave much. away JJ nothing. JJ is the master of mystery. Whoever actually like, is the guy that puts together the trailers. Because I know JJ had uh, to have a uh, sign-off of that. Probably mm -hmm. like, okay, this is okay. But I know that he didn't go in and edit it. No, but yeah. like he probably said, yeah, that's good. Because this is going to still be a movie where people are totally... You, you've thrown so many curveballs in that movie. So many curveballs. Um, so as you can tell, we obviously like the movie. <laughs> um, definitely very good. We're, we're both big Star Wars fans, and we just went in there with low expectations and came out very, very... A lot happier than... Because it could... I could have went in, and it could have just been... Oh, that wasn't as good as I thought. But no, it, it like met it, everything I wanted for a new Star Wars movie. Everything. My... Um... You know, you know, my first impressions, like I said, with my uncle and everything, what I said finally at like two in the morning, I was like, okay, I really am going to put this together. This is a be beyond worthy successor to the series as a whole. It's not just, I'm not going to say, sit here and say, oh, it's better than episode four or nothing. I'm, I'm just going to say it's a worthy successor and that's all it needs to be, especially for, you know, bringing it into a trilogy like they're oh, planning. Yeah. Like, I'm very excited. And, they, for and us. whatever other Star Wars projects they got going on, because I know it's more than just eight, nine. Um, yeah, because the first in so many years, I mean, episode three was 2005, and we're finally getting a sequel to the original trilogy. It's like literally exactly what everyone's been wanting for a long time. And I, even I personally, growing up with the, I grew up with the prequels. I wasn't alive when the old ones were out, but as an adult, I love those better, all for the right reasons. I got smart and then watched all of the original trilogy and fell in love with it. Um, and this is finally a worthy sequel. Not just, oh, it's an okay sequel. This is, mm -hmm. like, really, really worthy. J.J., you got something. I hope he directs every single other movie. I hope they don't, like, just try to bring someone else in. I, I think, you know, he would He would probably have his name on it, no matter what. He'll probably be producer for the next movie. Yeah, kind of like the Star Trek. So yeah. He's going to be uh, with Star Trek. For yeah. the rest of his life, I'm sure. But, like, along with Star Wars... I, well, and with Star Wars. Like, Disney, you know exactly what you're doing. Like, literally, do not do anything different. As soon as... as Don't soon mess as up. As soon as Disney got it, just to, like, oh, to bring back Star Wars, we're like, good. That's, <laughs> that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. Like, like, and the bill, and I've only got more excited as it got closer. I mean, building up to the very night of the excitement was built. 
Um, overall, like, actual, on the movie itself, not just the build-up and all that, the movie itself, like, these young actors are so brilliant. I did not, because when like, you see in the trailer, you see, uh, oh, what's the guy's name again? Um, uh, Dameron guy or the John Boyega? No, John or, Boyega, yeah. yeah. I looked at John Boyega in the trailer and just, you know, everyone makes the same joke about he has just this worried look in the trailer. And I just thought, uh, maybe the girl would be the lead role and he's just the guy kind of tagging along and he's the... No, they it's, are both evenly the main character, and John Boyega like blew my mind with his acting. I have never seen him in anything. A lot of people have seen him in nah. the other movies he's in, but I have never seen him in anything else but Star Wars, and I, I haven't seen her in anything. I either. think Daisy Ridley that literally is her first role ever. And these these young guys, I mean, literally, uh, John Boyega is my age. He's twenty three, and he has potential for acting. Oh, man. Like, like he has very he has potential like he blew my mind it felt their acting whoever was i mean i know it was jj directing obviously but whoever was like telling them what to do everything they knew what they were doing they told them to be in the moment really probably they told them to be a part of this galaxy and be really into it and you really and because of their acting you're not taken out of the movie like the prequels I was in it. I felt like I was in this universe. No watching. more green screen. <laughs> no more green screen. All real practical effects. Oh, um, man. Stuff like that. Some CG, but in the, all the right places. All yeah. the right, like, oh, man, it was awesome. Every little character, it, well, <laughs> literally, BB-8, like a little... Um, Actually, like, even though... You every, know, every character is yeah. Star Wars. Yeah. They are a part of this universe, this is canon, this is happening, this is awesome. I did not expect Kylo Ren to be as good as he was. I no. just simply didn't. He's, uh, when you go in there, you're going to find out that he is way more human than you, might, you would expect. I, I, I've heard it a thousand times from other reviewers. Oh, they, the people thought he was going to be another Vader, but he wasn't. He was very, very human. Actually, young, too. He's like really, he's, he's a young guy. Um... Uh, Adam Driver, he's yeah. like probably in his late twenties, early thirties, but he looks really young in this movie. And uh, Jeremy Johns was like, "Oh, this is Anakin done right." He he really seemed like he could have been a Anakin back then if it would have been done right. But uh, yeah, very very strong villain. I was I was uh, everyone you know loves the way Kylo looks. He looks really cool. I was like, "Oh, he's gonna be so intimidating," but he he is. For in all the right places, but you find out he's a lot more human than you would expect, um, and just he's and a, a brilliant actor as well yeah, <laughs> in like that it. role. It's not just an imita imita intimidating voice through the mask; he actually he, he can act, and it was really nice. Harrison Ford, you can tell, had a lot of fun with this. I know that him being brought back to Han Solo was just. Uh, I saw in an interview he said it was really it's a magical thing to uh, be able to play the role again um, because everyone just loved him and Chewbacca so much back then and just for, to see them both again uh, Chewbacca himself is just it's awesome to just see those guys on screen together again like and Millennium Falcon all I mean that's not a spoiler because you obviously see in the trailer it's in the movie. He, uh, it's just, it's awesome. And just mixing the old and the new is what mattered to me. It was just, you, know, you like, have the Millennium Falcon in the movie, but you have new special effects when it's like flying around the TIE Fighters. Everything looks amazing. Like, just, oh I was on the edge of my seat during most of these, like, fighting slash, like, ship chase scenes were just... It's a rush to sit and watch that. I literally, I had chills. The, whole, the sound effects are like the old Star Wars, but it brought new and back. Um, I really, other reviewers haven't really gone into detail about the sound, and I really wanted to talk with you about that to oh, these yeah. guys, to the audience. Um, the sound is just John Williams with this, the new music is really good. I wouldn't say it's super memorable because, you know, the old Star Wars is going to flood your mind and you're going to think about those songs. But they brought back some old stuff, but also they had new music that I would have to see the movie a couple more times to really get used to, like, the way the music is and those scenes where it is new. You're not going to recognize it right away. It's not going to be super memorable, but the music is amazing. And not just the music, the sound in this movie. Yeah, like... When the Force is used... uh. I 
I'm not going to be able to experience, unless I go see the movie again in theaters, which I actually am, um, like, I wouldn't, at home, I would never be able to experience the force and the way it sounds at home, the way you do in the movie theater. Star Wars is meant to be seen in a movie theater. It's like, you can tell, it's like, it's literally a disturbance. <laughs> Pun intended. It's literally, like, really, really strong, and just, and I love that. I love the way it sounds. The movie, just, like, every little thing yeah, about the just audio like, was amazing. Because like, right, when it, right when it was over, and this the credits is oh, just yeah. the same as yeah. it's always been, like, I was just like, yeah, that was John Williams at his best. The old stuff was in the right places, right when it mattered, right when it would be memorable, right. And I remember those scenes because of the old music, like every, and I think I said this a little earlier, it's just everything count, like is where it is for a reason. Everything counts. Everything is just. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't have that many trailers at the beginning of ours. And like, I had to like prepare myself when Lucas films come up because that's like right on the Star Wars title moment. That's. Like, when I'm like, this is it. I've got chills all over my body at that point because it's that song all over again, and they've kept it through all the movies, and I'm glad they just kept that style. I mean, you can't not start a Star You can't start a Star Wars movie without having that song and the, uh, you know, zoom out of the title, which looked great. Like, it's all new, obviously, and I was really impressed with the stars and all that. It just looked really, really nice. There is no question that this is a 10 out of 10, like, and that's not just because I'm a Star Wars fan. It's just a brilliant movie. There's nothing, like, like a great storytelling, a great way to revamp Star Wars and bring it back to uh, the old audience and the new, which is what J.J. was trying to do, that rhymed. But, you know, it's just awesome. 10 out of 10, like, most definitely. Yeah. 10 out of 10. There's literally no doubt in my mind that, I mean, yes, this isn't a the most perfect movie ever made. I won't say that. It's got its flaws. But Definitely. Star Wars is so close to our hearts. It's so yeah. close to my heart. I grew up with it. I know of every sound effect of every scene, every breath of every scene of the original trilogy. And it's just, if I give that any lower i feel like that's somehow disrespecting this new movie to embrace this is a, an amazing achievement jj has brought and i cannot wait for the other movies <laughs> yeah because it leaves like, so many doors open it's not just like a lot of things wrap up in this movie when you see this that's the more questions you got and the and what i could tell you guys going in before you see this movie enjoy that build up and know that whenever you come out of there, you're going to be craving more. I would, if this movie was three hours, four hours, five hours long, I would have loved to sit there that long to watch this. That's the biggest point I can make about this movie. My number one highlight on opinion of why I'm giving it a 10 is because I was craving more, right? I, I want it, told him, like, if, like, we could just, hey, let's just sit here for like the nine o'clock and just kind of sit and just watch it again and blend in with the crowd and pretend <laughs> we got another ticket, which we went, didn't do that. No. We don't want to be disrespectful. But still, that was what I wanted to do. I wanted to, if I could have watched it the same night, I would. So next week I'm seeing it again. I'm really excited to see it again. Like, I, I cannot wait yeah. to see it again. Yeah, I'd be excited to see it again if I knew I was going to see it next week. Because I honestly, I wouldn't be able to wait on Blu-ray or DVD to see it again. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, I'm craving Star Wars again. Like, it is a great feeling as a fan to be a part of this. And I hope, like, just just as a side note, I hope it makes more than Avatar. That's what me and you were saying. As weird yeah, as that it's sounds. Like, it's like, like the opening night has already made, like, freaking, it's like breaking <laughs> records right now. And it's only, this is only Saturday. Yeah, like, it's so, all. So it's still got, like, a few months in the theaters to make more money. So I guarantee you it's in the top three movies of all time by the end of it. And that wraps up this review of Star Wars The Force Awakens. Definitely leave us in the comments what you thought of the movie if you have seen it. And if you have not, what are you doing? Go watch Star Wars. Like, even if you haven't seen the Star Wars movie, I would tell you, go watch it. Well, go watch the original trilogy first, and then go see it. But if you just have to see this as your first Star Wars movie, you'll still enjoy it, because J.J. meant to do that for new audiences. 
that's where it's supposed to be. Thanks so much for like joining us for this discussion. It's probably ran on for like forever now. And uh, Merry Christmas. I um, just graduated uh, today, college, college graduate. That's why we're dressed up. If you I were mean, wondering, I mean, we decided, I told him like, we're gonna be really fancy for this <laughs> review and rightfully so, because I love Star Wars enough to be dressed up for it. <laughs> yeah, I'll, um, and just, in the comments below, just leave your feedback on this review or on your thoughts on the movie. If you'd like to see or... more reviews from us, we have been doing a dual the worst reviews in a long time, and I was glad to... In a long time. I've been glad, I was glad to, I told him, like, yeah, we're going to do a Force Awakens review just because we need to come back and, like, do that, and what a great way to do it is Star Wars. So, guys, this is a great time <laughs> to be alive. <laughs> Star Wars is back. Go enjoy it, and here's to 500 more days till episode 8. <laughs> so, let's do it. Real quick before we wrap up this review, guys, we're going to go ahead and end this. It's going on way too long. We'll spoil it for you in another video if we decide to do it. I think it would be actually kind of cool to do one whole spoiler review, four worst reviews. Um, and that would be just great so that we can pack it all into one video. Uh, so yeah, definitely look forward to that. Spoilers in a separate Force Awakens review coming soon.